All right, so today I will upgrade my hovercraft by installing a custom Arduino control system, including upgraded wiring and custom graphics. Stick around to find out how it went. Something that has been a long time coming for me, an electrical engineer, is getting a computerized control system on my hovercraft. Because pretty much everything you drive or fly nowadays is controlled to some degree by a computer. So today, I'm going to install an Arduino Nano and display on my hovercraft so it doesn't feel all left out and behind, and so I can keep my electrical engineering card. Also, practically, the point of this system is to improve drivability, ease of use, and safety of the craft. So first, I'm going to go over the existing electrical system to show how the Arduino is going to fit in. But don't worry, I won't go full engineering on you. I just have a couple of diagrams to try to make it clear what we're about to do. So in this craft, starting backwards, we of course have the rudders and the fans which actually propel the craft. These are driven by a set of electronic speed controls, which are of course powered by a set of batteries, both a six cell set and a 12 cell set. Now, one point I wanna make is that I'm using two different voltage power systems, six cell and 12 cell. But one kind of painful lesson learned is it's very important to ground both of these together. Otherwise, you can get damaging ground loops through the control system. A few speed controls may have paid the price for this lesson learned. So I've chosen to control my electric hovercraft with a normal multi-channel radio controller and transmitter due to ease of use, familiarity, and low price, of course. The RC receiver controls the rest of the equipment with standard PWM RC signals. This is where we're going to install the Arduino to intercept these signals from the receiver before the other equipment, adding computerized control to the system. So moving on to the upgrade, you can see that most of the key system is the same for the computerized version. So the first thing I did is upgraded the radio transmitter to a nicer model with more channels, cooler controller. And then I put the Arduino Nano and a display between the receiver and the rest of the equipment. The cool thing is I can communicate between this radio receiver and the Arduino with an eight channel digital iBus signal for low interference. Then from this input, the Arduino Nano can do all sorts of whatever smart things I ask of it before sending the same PWM signals, now computer controlled, out to the equipment, thereby closing the loop. So the first step to actually being able to use this is being able to install the Arduino Nano and all the equipment in the hovercraft. This was done by fitting everything into a new dashboard. The dash itself is cut out of a piece of plywood and duct tape to the hovercraft, of course. Next, to properly handle all the power, the front wiring needs to be upgraded to handle the additional loads of the thrust vectoring. The original wire harness connecting the power was only designed for the lift fans. So now, an improved front wire harness using higher gauge wire was soldered up to efficiently handle the upgraded loads. For similar reasons, the 6S connectors all need to be upgraded from XT60 to XT90 versions to handle the higher currents. Now that the Arduino is all installed in the craft, I had to program in basic functionality for IBUS communication, safely arming the craft, and mixing the front thrust vector signals. So this is the extent of the coding we're gonna do for the initial installation and testing, but all the real smarts enabled by the computerization will be implemented in the next video. However, there was one opportunity that was too good to pass up, so I'm gonna make some cool custom hovercraft graphics to make a nice welcome message for the pilot. To accomplish this, my LCD can handle eight custom characters. So the challenge is to make a reasonable hovercraft graphic by using standard characters and eight custom ones. So as you can see here, I programmed these eight custom graphics in, which then can combine to create a pretty reasonable hovercraft graphic. Personally, I think in the end, it actually looks pretty cool. So now that everything is installed, programmed, and prettied up, we're gonna run through some basic functionality tests to make sure all the features of the craft are working 100% and it's still operational.
All right, so now my hovercraft is fully computerized and running better than ever. Next, I will program some unique features to make it an actually smart hovercraft. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> <laughs>